Okay, this is question 528, and that's on page 5-11. So let's look at the question. An aircraft departs an airport in the Mountain Standard Time Zone at 1615 Mountain Standard Time. So you write that down, 1615 Mountain Standard Time for a 2 hour and 15 minute flight to somewhere in the world. Okay. So we have to add on 2 hours and 15 minutes. It's really easy. 2 hours and 15 minutes looks like this. 2, 15. Now, let's add all of this together. 5 and 5, 10, 1, 1, carry the 1, 3, 6 and 2, 8, and 1830. Plus, just think of it simply, 1615 plus 215, 2 hours and 15 minutes, got to be 18 and a half. 1830, just a sanity check. But 1830 what? 1830 Mountain Standard Time. Okay, so they reached an airport located in the Pacific Standard Time Zone. Okay, so we know we're going to have to convert to Pacific Standard Time. What is the relationship between Mountain Standard Time and Pacific Standard Time? Well, if you didn't know it by now, you can always look at your trusty chart only looking at the left side. What's the relationship between Mountain Standard Time and Pacific Standard Time? Forget about these numbers here. They have nothing to do with it. That's only when you're converting to Zulu. You're one hour away from each other. One hour on what direction? It went from, the flight went from Mountain Standard Time to Pacific Standard Time. So you lose an hour. So it's minus one hour. So you put here minus one hour. And what do you wind up with? 1730 Pacific Standard Time. And let's see if that's the if that's what they're asking for, Pacific Standard. The estimated time of arrival at the destination airport, which is in Pacific Standard Time, should be. And do we have a match? Yes, we do. We have a match at 1730 Pacific Standard Time. And what is the and that is the answer, answer B. So there's another one. Very simple stuff. Let's do another one. 